ORAN promotes virtualized RAN, where disaggregated components are connected via open interfaces and optimized by intelligent controllers. And these efforts result in a new paradigm for the RAN design, deployment, and operations where open RAN networks can be built with multi-vendor, interoperable components, and can be programmatically optimized through a centralized abstraction layer and closed loop control. Therefore, understanding ORAN architecture, its interfaces, and components is key for individuals in the wireless industry. In this video, we will discuss the complete ORAN architecture. Let's start with G0B, which is split into a central unit, a distributed unit, and a radio unit. In ORAN specifications, they are called OCU, ODU, and ORU. The CU is further split into two logical components, one for the control plane, and one for the user plane. This logical split allows different functionalities to be deployed at different locations of the network, as well as on different hardware platforms. CU and DO components are called O-Cloud network functions, since these can be deployed on the cloud layer, called O-Cloud. Radio side also includes, an intelligent controller called NEAR Real-Time RAN Intelligent Controller, or simply NEAR RT-RIC, which is a logical function, that enables NEAR Real-Time Control, and optimization of RAN elements. The NEAR RT-RIC provides RAN Analytics Information Services, via Y1 interface. Y1 consumers can consume the RAN Analytics information, such as, quality of experience, UE location, via this Y1 interface. The management and orchestration of RAN domain, is handled by Service Management and Orchestration System, or simply SMO. It takes care of O-Cloud management, and orchestration via O2 interfaces. And it provides an O1 interface towards RAN elements for FCAPS functionality. FCAPS here stands for, Fault, Configuration, Accounting, Performance and Security. SMO includes an intelligent component called Non-Real-Time RAN Intelligent Controller, or simply Non-RT-RIC. The RIC enables the onboarding of third-party applications that automate and optimize RAN operations at scale, and there are a set of use cases and applications that the RIC supports, like quality of experience optimization, traffic steering, RAN energy efficiency, cloud energy efficiency and lot more. And for some of the use cases, non-RT RIC needs to talk to near RT RIC, and so an A1 interfaces is exposed between these two components. There is an open front hall M-plane interface for the FCAPS functionality of ORU component, for example configuration management, performance management, software management, fault management and a lot more. And there is an O-Cloud notification interface, which allows event consumers such as an ODU, OCU, deployed on O-Cloud to subscribe to events or status from the O-Cloud itself. This is ORAN high-level architecture diagram, and there are few more interfaces, but first let's understand the functionality of some of these components in little more details. We will start with SMO. In a service provider's network, there can be many management domains such as, RAN management, core management, transport management, end-to-end -end slice management and others. In the ORAN architecture, SMO is responsible for RAN domain management. However, SMO interacts with the other domain controllers of the service provider's network with standard interfaces. Now let's discuss the key capabilities of the SMO for RAN domain, it starts with FCAPS interface to ORAN network functions, where it takes care of fault, performance, configuration, security of the open RAN network functions. Next is Non-RT RIC for RAN optimization, this is major uplift of legacy self-organization network, where RAN optimization-based algorithms from different vendors can be onboard to the common non-RT RIC platform. Next key capability is O-Cloud Management, which includes installation of software, resource management and day two operations of the cloud. Next is Orchestration and Workflow Management of the Network Functions. This covers the key capabilities of the SMO. The SMO performs these functionalities through four key interfaces to the ORAN elements, which are shown in the diagram, as A1 interface between the non-RT RIC in the SMO and the near RT RIC for RAN optimization. O1 interface between the SMO and the ORAN network functions for FCAP support. 
Open front hall M plane interface between SMO and ORU for F caps support. O2 interface between the SMO and the O cloud. Now, we will move from high level architecture to the logical architecture of the ORAN to understand more interfaces between the ORAN components. In this logical architecture, let's start from from O1 interface, which is an interface between SMO and ORAN managed elements, such as CUCP, CUUP, ODU, E node B. One can see in this diagram, MIR RT RIC also has access to O1 interface. O1 interface is used majorly for FCAPS functionality, which is fault, configuration, accounting, performance and security of ORAN managed network elements. Next is, O2 interface, which is between SMO and O cloud. O2 interface supports the management of the cloud infrastructure and the use of the cloud resources allocated to the RAN. Example of few functionalities supported by O2 interface are Discovery and administration of O cloud resources Scale in, scale out for O cloud F caps, performance, configuration, fault, communication surveillance of O cloud Software management of cloud platform Create, delete, deployments and associated allocated O cloud resources. And, software management of deployments. Next, let's discuss a one interface, which is between non-RTRIC function in the SMO and near RTRIC. A simple way to understand functionality of a one interface is that, when non-RTRIC performs, the optimizations of the RAN network functions, in few of the use cases it produces few policies, to be consumed by near RTRIC components, and here, a one interface is used to manage those policies from non RTRIC to near RTRIC. Now, let's talk about E2 interface. E2 is a logical interface connecting the near RTRIC with an E2 nodes. Here, E2 nodes refers to CUCP, CUUP, ODU, and the E node B. E2 interface allows the near RT RIC to control procedures and functionalities of the E2 nodes. E2 nodes interface also enables the collection of metrics from the RAN elements to the near RT RIC. So, E2 interface comes into actions in following example use cases like quality of service optimization, network traffic steering use cases, RAN slice assurance, performance counter reporting, and a lot more. Hope. You understand the high-level functionalities covered over the E2 interface. Next is, Open Front Hall Interface, where M-Plane interfaces from ORU, to words, ODU and SMO is shown in this diagram, and Open Front Hall CUS interfaces between ORU and ODU only. Here, CUS stands for Control and Synchronization. Open Front Hall Interface is used, majorly for supporting FCAPS functionalities of the ORU unit, such as, startup installation of ORU, software, configuration, performance, fault and file management of the ORU. Y1 interface allows the Y1 consumers to subscribe, or request the RAN analytics information provided by near RTRIC. Here, Y1 consumer means, the components or any external entities, who wants to consume Y1 exposed information for their own purposes. And now the question comes, what type of RAN analytics information is exposed by Y1 interface? Few examples of this information are, quality of experience information, UE location information, and lot more such RAN capabilities. And this information can be used for variety of purposes by its consumers. So, we majorly covered all the interfaces as part of ORAN logical architecture diagram. And to summarize, we covered ORAN high-level architecture, its components, logical architecture diagram and its interfaces in details. Thank you for watching this video. In the next set of videos, we will deep dive into ORAN details.